Hello students, I am teacher Peter, and it's been a long, ta long time without seeing you. I really miss you. Uh, I miss to be with you, teaching, and listening things from you. So, but we are here in the, the health media, your favorite channel of YouTube, and we're going to work for you. We have, we're going to work in first grade unit 1A, all right? And the topic is readings. So we're going to start with greetings. We have two kinds of greetings, formal and informal greetings. So please open your notebook and imagine that this is the, uh, the classroom, all right? You're going to copy what I'm writing. So I'm going to give you three seconds to go for your notebook. One, two, and three. OK, we're going to start. You're going to divide the notebook in two parts. So you're going to write in the left uh, side, formal. And in the right side, you're going to write informal. Informal. All right? So we're going to start with informal greetings. The most common greeting that we know is hi. Hi. We use hi when you're with your friends and you want to say, uh, uh, you want to read the person. All right? Hi is one of the most common informal greetings. We have other one. What's up? Okay. What's up is que onda or see is que onda in Spanish. All right. This is more informal, more casual. So you can use hi, what's up with your friends. But we have more readings. For example, what's up? What up? That is similar. What's up? Uh, what's coming on? What's coming? on. Yes? So you can use these informal readings with your friends. Now we're going to change to formal readings. We have the most common that you know, it's hello. So we have hello when you're talking to your teachers or to your parents, to your boss. You want to use a formal reading. Okay? Hello. Also we have good morning. This is all algorithm, but when you're in the morning from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., you use good morning, okay? Good afternoon. When you are in there from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m., more or less, and we have good evening. Those are the formal greetings that you should, should use, all right? Uh, this is one of the topics now you want to copy in your notebook. <clears throat> OK, now we're going to change to other topic, all right? So I'm going to raise this. Now we're going to change to the main principal topic of this unit, that is prepositions. Prepositions. OK, please, next page of your notebook, and write down prepositions. Now you're going to draw a box, all right? A box. And you're going to write in, on, under, and next to. Next to. All right, please copy. So, what are the prepositions for? We're going to use prepositions to express what are the objects. All right? For example, <coughs> where is the marker? The marker, the eraser. What is the eraser? If you can see, the eraser is on the table, all right? So we're going to write the ex example one, number one, the eraser is on the table.
Yes. So when you see objects on and see Madalgo, you're going to use on. On. All right. Other example. Uh, where are the markers? Where are the markers? The markers are on the table. Okay. Number two. The markers are on the table. Okay, if you see, I underlined the verb to be, the, f the famous verb to be. Uh, can, you um, can you close up to this, please? Markers. <coughs> okay, we had is, the verb to be is for one object, or so, oh, singular, yes? So is is for one object. And are for two objects or more objects. All right. So here you're going to write singular and plural. All right. Plural, two objects, singular, one object. <coughs> Different example. We have in. We use in when. When, when tenemos cosas en, adentro de algo. Por ejemplo, my wallet is in my pocket. Okay? In. Uh, my cell phone is in my pocket. And so on. Okay? So I want to write example here. Number three. The wallet is in my pocket. Okay, example number four. The cell phone is in my pocket too. Pocket, all right? If you want to copy, I'm going to give you four seconds. Now I'm going to race because I don't have the space, all right? So I'm going to race. Now we're going to continue with next to. We use next to when tienes objetos alrededor tuyo. Bueno, al lado tuyo, más bien, al lado tuyo. Uh, if you see, I have the, the um, whiteboard next to me, all right? So the whiteboard is next to me. The whiteboard is, because it's one object, singular, next to me. Next to me, all right? Uh, other example. Okay, the, uh, the table and the whiteboard are next to me. Yes, two objects are next to me. So we're going to write the whiteboard again. The white uh, whiteboard and the chair is next to me. All right. <clears throat> okay, the last preposition that we're going to use is under. Under, if you see, when you have, cuando tienes objetos abajo de algo. For example, I'm going to throw, throw up the marker, the eraser. Oh, the eraser is under the table. All right. Eraser is under the table. <clears throat> I'm going to write with red because we don't have the ink. The eraser is under the table. <clears throat> All right. Another example. I don't know. Yeah, just with one example. Yes, just with one example. 
Now I'm going to, I want you to copy, please. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to check questions to, to ask where is the, the, where are the objects? For example, we're going to use the WH word where. Yes, this is the principal WH word that we're going to use. Now the verb to be, where is there? And we're going to draw a line. Where is there? And question mark, all right? For example, I imagine that you're in your, in your room. So can you tell me where is the, the TV in your room? Where is the TV? In your room. Este, alumnos, quiero que contesten la pregunta en su cuaderno. So you want to copy where is the TV? Significa, ¿dónde queda la televisión? Eh, en su cuarto. Y quiero que me escriban la respuesta. The TV is, ah, you want to write the preposition here. So you can use in, on, under, and next to, under, all right? Um, I imagine that your TV is on the wall. Cuando tenemos objetos eh, en la pared, decimos, the TV is on the wall. Entonces, si la televisión está atornillada, the TV is on the wall. You want to write here, on the wall. All right, other question. Where is the, where is, or where are, we're going to use where are your books. So R for plural, and we have books in plural, all right? Where are your books? Donde están tus libros? And you're going to write the answer. The books are, the books are, and the preposition, all right? I imagine that your books are on the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall, because you're studying on the table. Yes? So that's our, that's our the topics from unit one. Uh, yeah. So, students, uh, I want to I want you to know that we're working here in the HES to to call to review all the topics. Yeah, you're going to we're going to work hard to teach you through YouTube. All right. All right. Uh, <coughs> quiero que sepan que estamos trabajando duro con usted, con the HES para que no pierdan los temas. Vamos a trabajando varios maestros de varias escuelas. Si checan la, la página de YouTube, hay maestros de la técnica 27 y de demás escuelas. Entonces pueden reforzar los temas de la unidad 1A viendo los videos en YouTube. Eh, ya los extraño mucho. Espero que no haya sido afectado sus casas, como fue el caso de, de mía, mía y de algunos compañeros, de algunos vecinos. Eh, Espero verlos pronto. Estamos trabajando duros para ustedes. Este, en el colegiado de inglés, que un blog, pueden ustedes teclear en Google Blogger, es la plataforma, y la página, y el blog se llama, uh, así se llama. Bueno, la plataforma se, es Blogger. Blogger, and the name of the blog is Academia Academia de Inglés ST 52. Entonces pueden entrar a Blogger y teclear Academia de Inglés 52. Aquí estaremos subiendo los trabajos para que ustedes lo realicen en su casa. ¿De acuerdo? 
Entonces vamos a estar trabajando vía internet, YouTube y vía blog. Este, hasta luego.